Hey guys, Mark here from JBBG TV. Let's take a look at this Spring Airsoft BB gun. It's the two-tone clear version from Cybergun and it's, this is the actual tactical version, so it comes with a few bits and pieces. You do have to put a few bits together, so I'm gonna open up the box, take the bits out, explain how it all goes together, um, and then let's have a look over the gun and I'll show you how it works, how you put BBs in, how you can set the hop up and stuff like that. So um, let's open up the box. So I say it's the tactical version. So it has quite a few bits in the box as you can see. You get instructions, they're okay. They show a little bit about what to do. A bit of polystyrene. Um, let's start off with some of the accessories. So front grip. Torch, LED torch take standard uh, AAA batteries. They come in the box as well. Everything you need is in the box in one set. The only thing that aren't, aren't, aren't or isn't, isn't in the box is some uh, protective eyewear, some goggles or some shooting glasses. So this is the front rail system that goes on the front of the gun. That actually screws on, which I'm gonna show you how to do that in a minute. You get a quite low end, but good enough for the job, um, gun strap. If you're a young shooter, I do recommend you use the gun strap. It will stop you dropping the gun. Bag of BBs. Not a particularly big bag of BBs, but enough to get you started. They're 0.20 gram BBs. Um, so, yeah, little bag of BBs. Here's the batteries for the torch, AAA batteries. Your strap brackets, a little screwdriver comes with it and the uh, screws to put the front end on. This is the battery for the um, for the sight. Here's the sight. It's battery powered, red dot sight. It has got some adjustments. It's not bad. Uh, it is very low end, but um, good enough for a BB gun rather than a professional airsoft gun or something. Um, this is the front. Um, what do you call this? <laughs> front. Um, so even the front, they don't have a back one. It's a back, I can't even think today. This is the barrel. It's a barrel. <laughs> Going mad. Going absolutely mad. <laughs> Here's the gun itself. So uh, quite a lump, really well made, no flex, solid ABS plastic. Let's put that down there. And here's a speed loader and also doubles up as an unblocking rod. So I'm gonna show you how that all works as well. Box is empty, chuck it on the floor. This has been in our warehouse, so it's um, a little bit um, cold. Okay, so let's, first of all, let's put this thing on that I couldn't remember the name of. Onto the front of the gun, just screws on. Don't over tighten it, just, just finger tight. It's absolutely cool. So here's the tactical rail system on the front. Also holds a laser system in here if you want to buy that separately. This just slides on, can you see that? Actually it goes that way, I think, yeah, that way. Yeah, it just slides on. And you can see the screw holes, I'll bring it forward. Let's see the screw holes, it just lines up. Goes on there and lines up. So we've got to put these two screws in. In the little bag of screws, so you get your screwdriver. Just tip these out over here. And these are the two screws. I'm going to hold this here. Just line the hole up and put the screw in and just put it in finger tight first of all so you know it's actually gone in the hole and then get your screwdriver and just tighten up. It's a bit uh, awkward holding it for the camera. I actually didn't have it lined up. I've got it lined up now. There you go. They're quite long screws, so you've got to keep going to the all the way in, almost there with this one. Yep, 
It's not a great screwdriver that comes with it. If you've got another screwdriver laying around, it'll probably be easier. It's a very cheap screwdriver. One's in, let's get the other one in. They say they're quite long, so they've got quite a lot of thread on them. So screw them all the way in. Again, line up the hole. I'm giving up. This is not a particularly good screwdriver. So I recommend you use one of your own. They might not all be as bad as that one, but that one was really bad. Okay, so once that's screwed on, Let's look at the torch. So the torch, you just simply slide the top off the torch, open up the batteries, and pop them in. Three batteries. Now this bit of ribbon, you've probably seen this on other stuff, but if you leave it at the bottom and you put your, the, your battery in over top of them, when you want to change batteries, you just simply pull that and they'll pop out. Makes it easier. Torch is on. Little switch on the side. Oh, there he is. Little switch there. Couldn't remember what side it was on. Get your lid. Push that bit of ribbon in into the box. So into the housing, and then just close that up. So there you go. Pretty cool. So that torch is a rail torch, so you just simply unscrew through, slide it onto the torch, slide it onto the gun. I'm in trouble talking. Line the hole up with the rail, pop it in. No? Yeah, the wrong way. I'm having a nightmare day. I should do this video another day, but there you go. So just hand tight, put it in the hand tight. And there's your torch onto the gun. Let's look at the scope. No, I can't do anything wrong with the scope. Top part, just unscrew. So hold the bottom part of this switch and just undo the top bit. You can see there. So we get our battery. Let me get this stuff out of the way. There you go. Getting a bit messy. So we're gonna take out the battery. Now the battery goes face down, I believe. Yes, face down. So you can see it's beveled, the positive is there. So you just put that face down and push it in. And then again, hold the bottom of the switch, line this up and twist and that's on there. And then you'll see the red dot. I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it. Yeah, red dot in the scope. Now to adjust that red dot, up or down, left and right, use these two switches here. To adjust it, left and right, and up and down. And um, so you can zero that in. There's other videos on our website that shows you how to zero in the sight to get your gun shooting correctly. So um, yeah, have a look. Um, on here, there is two different brightness settings, actually. So you can see there's one set in there. Will that, yeah, there you go. So there's one setting, and then if I flick it the other way, it's off, and then all the way over, is it's not so bright. So that's for like sort of nighttime dust shooting, and that's for bright ones for brighter days. So on the top of the famous, you have this rail, which is the rail for the scope. This does come off, you can take that off and you can just use the pin. You can see there's pin scopes, fully adjustable pins, pin sights, actually in the gun. So you can just use those. We'll pop this in. There you go. And then get the right way round, which is that way around. Just loosely undo the scope. One thing to remember with the scope, this side of the scope is there was little tiny nuts. 
So I always like to keep the finger over than that when I'm undoing this. In case you go too far and it pops off, you'll never ever find it. Pop that on there and do them up. Again, just finger tight. Remember, it's only plastic and ABS. This is a low cost, but very powerful airsoft BB gun. Get your front rail. Now the front rail has this adjuster at the bottom, which if you can see the pin there goes up and down. I'm gonna turn this. So the pin, so put the pin down, put it onto the rail, see the rail system just there, slide it on. into the position you want, lining up, you can see through the hole, lining up, and then just screw this down so the pin goes between the rail, and that will hold it really tight and stop it coming off. So there's your famous. I'm not gonna put the strap on. The strap is, um, it's very simple to do, it has the two clips on the strap and you just put it uh, onto the gun, it's very easy to do. So if we're going to look over the gun and then I'll show you the magazine, I'll show you how to use the speed loader. Um, so looking over the gun, the actual set for the spring is here. So you will pull this back to set it and let go and then you can fire. Now on the trigger, there is, on the trigger there is a safety guard so you, your finger can't pull the trigger all you do is you switch that over out the way and then you can fire so there's a little safety mechanism there um, on the real famous that's actually the uh, selector switch that's, that's basically this safety semi and auto fire and then the switch at the back here which there's no switch here on the real famous that will be your um, basically your bursts so normal shooting or three rounds at a time sort of burst shooting now on the back of the gun this is your cheek rest and it's great for left and right handed so this is set up at the moment for a left handed shooter yeah because you've got rest there for a right handed shooter you just simply take this off and spin it around when you fit that it just basically lifts off at the top so when you put it back on you hook the bottom on first and push the top on and that's it. Now you may have noticed underneath here on this side is your hop-up system. Now uh, Cybergun have a really good hop-up system so it works really really well so there is just a very small amount of adjustment you need on here so the best thing to do is just put it somewhere in the middle fire the BB if it drops down you want to go up it says on it goes up yeah so forwards up so just take it forward slightly until it comes up a bit more, a bit more. If you go too far, at the end of its travel, it will fly up in the air, at the end of the power, if you like. So you just simply drop that back down a little bit more, and that's all you need to do. Um, really good little hop-up system, as I say, in these cyber gun, two-tone guns. So there you have it. That's the famous from Cybergun in two-tone, and this is the tactical version. Let me show you how to fill the mag now and use the speed loader. To release the mag, you just push this button at the front. Always hold on to the mag when you do that in case it falls out. It's a very good snug fit. Now there's nothing to the magazine. There's nothing to do at all to the magazine. We're just gonna fill it with BBs. It's spring-fed. Um, so one thing I will say, this little door on the top here, you can probably see with a little bit of pressure, you can open it up. Do not open that door. If you open that door, the spring will come flying out and then you've got to put it back in with all the little bits. Um, there's a cap that goes on top of the spring and stuff. So it's a, a bit of a nightmare because the spring goes down all the way around. So that flies out. It's a bit of a nightmare. So whatever you do, do not open this door. It's quite stiff to open. So they, you know, they don't want you to open it. So leave it shut. Speed loader. Take the rod out. And then simply fill this up with BVs. This whole thing up to about here will go into the magazine. 
Now you can do it from here. If you've got another speed load, it's quite easy to fill them, but you know, it's not too bad. I'm gonna just show you now how you fill them. Get the bag sort of, so it pours nicely. I've cut my hand so they don't come out everywhere. If they do fall out, they just, and you can probably see them going in. A few more. Not too much of a, a job, is it? It's fine. So just close up the bag. So now you have your BVs actually in the speed loader. Get your rod and pop that in the, to the top. And then simply push it firmly, not, don't push it too hard, but just hold it in place into the magazine there and then hold it with your hand. And then simply push the plunger down and you'll see the BVs go in. Really simple. Take it out. And you can see the BVs at the top. If the BVs aren't at the top, once you put them in, or after you've had a few shots, if they're not at the top, then you've got a faulty mag, the spring is not pushing them up correctly, or you just haven't put enough BVs in there to, to activate the spring to push them up. So that's, that's all it is, it's very, very simple. Slip it back into the gun, nice sturdy fit, fit, really nice. Set the gun, take off the safety, put your eye protection on, and then give it a shot. Now this gun fires, bounce around the office. So this gun fires um, 370 FPS with a 0 0.20 BB, which is pretty damn amazing. Um, you know, this is a good tactical uh, airsoft gun, great for target shooting and great for back garden battles. However, if you're looking for a low, low cost sniper rifle, this will do it. This is as powerful as many of the uh, sniper rifles. And because it's got the bow putt system, now bow putt system means that the magazine is right back here. So you have a very long barrel inside the gun, which means the accuracy is superb. Very, very good, accurate gun. Um, that's why it's been on sale for, you know, many years, probably one of the first guns we ever had on Just BB Guns, sort of nine years ago, eight, eight nine years ago. Well, eight, yeah, eight years ago now. So um, it's um, been around for a while, but it's still a very, very good, powerful gun and uh, highly recommended and it's very inexpensive. So uh, it's on the website now. Please do take a look and thanks for watching. Oh,